Fully booked again tonight. Where did we get to? Uh, World Cup 86. It's cross finals. England, Argentina. All right. Ah, the hand of God. You what? Maradona scores with a handball, swings the match. Well, don't tell me this. 2 1 to Argentina. What's wrong with you? You absolute dickhead. Horse. Ha, ha, ha. Horse. Oh, laughing horse. Right. Mm. I'm going to go stretch my hands. Well, I mean, they won't hey. stretch because you're... He's dead. I'm dead. Yeah, you're dead. Yeah. You'll be dead soon. What? And the pelvis, I'd say female. Oh! oh. Yeah. <laughs> 30 to 40. Oh, oh. <laughs> Bowed right femur, probable limb. Oh! oh. 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 <laughs> Evidence of extensive syphilis. Huh? No, no, no. That, not that bit. The same as the male from yesterday. What? So the aim is to turn it into a venue. Venue for what? Uh, well, you know, uh, weddings, parties, bar mitzvahs, <laughs> girl mitzvahs, bat mitzvahs. Mm -hmm. For bats. What? Huh? Did you know this happens? I had no idea. If indeed that is me, she looks at least 20 years older. <laughs> How come she can be seen? Well, perhaps it's only if you're grumpy. Ah. Uh... Or ugly. No one wants a haunted wedding. No one will know. Look, it's only one window and he doesn't say where it is. So. Hmm. I mean, what sort of moron believes in ghosts? You are a ghost. Well, yeah, but, you know, before I became one, you wouldn't have caught me believing in this sort of nonsense. I know that it looks like a very spooky old house, but, but there's nothing creepy going on here, actually. Hi, I will not be paraded about like some Parisian concubine. Yes, yeah, she no porcupine, and me no sideshow freak. No, uh, but... Actually, uh, Robin, having been to a sideshow, you're exactly like... No, no, nothing. We have to con them, because it's the right thing yes. to do. Yes. And I'll, I'll stay here and watch... this wall! Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, uh, this part of the house has a lot of paranormal activity. Oh, how exciting. I hope we see some. Kitty, I think we are some. Welcome to Button FM. I'm Pat Butcher. Boo 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 boo. The greatest teacher in the area. Pat Butcher. And joining me this week is renowned poet Thomas Thorne. How are you, Thomas? Mmm, clever. Oh, well, why don't you sleep with her, then? Oh! Oh, the daddy! Oh, the daddy! Oh, daddy! And we have a lot of poltergeist activity up here. Yeah, that's where I live. Do you smell that? It smells like fire. There is no fire. Apart from that one. Yeah, that's okay. I mean, that wasn't what we... Okay. There's a real sense there could quite literally be a ghost around every corner. I mean, if I just pan around, you get some idea of the sheer size of this place. Oh, no! Fanny's exposed! Because let me tell you, there are spirits all around us. I just hope one day you come to embrace them. At least. Now she does it. Off the lawn! Off the lawn! Guys, <laughs> <laughs> guys, please, please. Can, no, please, please. Okay. can you please go back downstairs? Because, no offence, but you're actually making me feel really sick. Come on then, Oikes. Oh, come on, yeah. let's go. Not all of you, just your sharpest minds. Well, that's definitely me. You yeah. go for oh, it. I have to come. Yeah, you have to come. It's all about you, isn't it? Right, you stay here. No, you stay. You definitely stay. Yes. Order, order. Yeah. Order. Yeah. Oh, just said, shut up for a second, please. All oh, right, you do it for her. Uh, has anyone seen a stuffed dog? Well, Mick probably killed it. <laughs> Daniel. Who's Daniel? 
Oh, I was just doing a song about the nice names. Daniel, Veronica, Guy, Annie. Ugh. Actually, I, th I think I tried to tell you that last night. I'm so sorry, Kitty, but I can't talk right now because I've got guests here. Kitty, I'm so sorry, but I can't talk right now because I've got guests here. Kitty, I'm so sorry, but I can't. You were talking to someone else called Kitty. Yes, yeah, so where's Dante? Have you tried by the front door? <laughs> That's where he usually is. Thank you, Kitty. You're welcome. <laughs> Thomas. Yes? If I was 400 years older and you were alive and we were the same age and if I wasn't, you know, with Mike, then you and me might have... No. <sighs> Welcome to Boston House. <laughs> 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 Martin's right. We're never going to be wedding ready. Well, let's get ready. We're ready, ready. Uh, wed oh. Okay, I'll go get the tools. You check the measurements. Let's get ready and ready. Wedding ready. Wedding. Wedding ready. Let's get ready. It's wedding ready. Let's do this. Okay, everyone. Let's turn and burn. Oh, sorry, Mary. Anyway, film club. Yes. Now, I was thinking nine and a half weeks. Now, over my already dead body, sir. Fine by me. One, two, three. What's that supposed to be? Pistol. Thomas. No, I always choose pistol. Oh, yeah, it really worked out for you last time, didn't it? It's uh, rock, paper, scissors, Thomas. Thoughts told you. No, it's all right. Let's play it his way. One, two, three. <laughs> What's this now? AK-47 assault rifle. You can have one of these as well. Well, you don't get two weapons. Oh, come on. And this. <laughs> You're on fire, mate. Ah! What? Sorry, Mary. Well, I think we might just do this. See? Told you. Red and red. Red it's... We got this. Hmm. Sorry, smashing this up, or what? <laughs> Tonight's 100! Oh, ah. Uh... Oh! It was a prototype limpet mine. It was so secret that only I knew about it. And my second in command, Lieutenant Havers, but he left me. I mean, he left for the front. <clears throat> Thomas? I wanted to apologize for my outburst earlier today. Which one? You are kind to make light of it. Must have been a shock to see me so ruled by my emotions. Um... Perhaps I can give you account of the unhappy events of that fateful day. Oh, you don't have to. October 10th, 1824. Okay. I penned a note, thanked my cousin, thank you, cousin, <laughs> and waited, breath baited, for the... Oh, what is that thing? I am listening. Snickers? Yes. What's wrong with Marathon? Snickers just sounds like, it's Snickers. It's Snickers. It's Snickers. Anyway, it's not six yet, so, um, let's talk amongst ourselves, can we? Uh... How I longed to read her words. But Hermione and Roger is an epic poem, and I could not cheat my rapt audience. Death. Two hours later, I finally reached the climax of the piece. Dear Mr. Thorne, I'm sorry, but I do not love you. Perhaps you misinterpreted my words or actions when last we met. Might you have done. I mean, you do maybe have a tendency to, you know, get the wrong idea. 
Are you saying what I think you're saying? Almost definitely not. Eh? Let's play a game to pass the time. Yeah. Um, how about uh, Grandma went to the shops and bought an apple? Oh, oh. Not this. Oh. 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 That didn't happen. Oh. What? Didn't happen. I was there. It's big, nice house. Nice to come. May not want to live here. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh. Man called Thomas do poem. <laughs> something about flowers, or wine, or girls, or something. Mm. It was something big boring. Thomas came in. Lady Isabel, that look at him, said I to Annie. Is he the man of which she spoke? Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. Annie? Who's Annie? Good oh, honest. yeah, yeah, Annie ghosted here for a hundred years or more. True friend to me. See? Till she got sucked off. I'm sorry. Uh, Annie and I did watch, and Thomas said his poem. Summer hath aroused the twilights of life's in the haze. And the people Shadow all turned to statues. Time has passed. Honestly, I think they died of boredom. Oh, come now. This is a nonsense. I says it as I remember as I sees it, mate. I remember his poem. Welcome, death. Oh, sweetest sleep. I don't understand poetry very well, but it must have been funny because people were giggling. I happen to love that woman of whom you speak. And I... Sorry, does anybody have a glove? Fine. Imagine the glove. I demand satisfaction. Seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> was telling the story. You weren't even there. Well, it's what I would have done. Close call to back. I don't know why that's relevant. Wait, hold on. Button? So that means we're related? Yes. No. I mean, very distantly related. Our children would be fine. Probably all related. If you go back far enough. Uh, yeah, you all come from me and my sister. Mm -hmm. <laughs> From the knees, trust me, you don't want a hernia. Head! What? Chog! Hedgehog! Sorry, I thought I saw a hedgehog. Where? I'll make love to you if you want me to, and I'll hold you tight, baby, all through the night. Yeah. I don't want I him to. Mean... Anyone else, we're curious, who got lost in the grounds while looking for a toilet. Because you need to go urgently due to a recent operation to remove a small section of bowel. That's a lot of detailing. That's what makes it believable. Now's our chance. But I've still got the thighs. Got two weeks slowly. Well, I have got that bowel thing. No, you haven't. Right. I know you can hear me. I just want to watch my show and eat my trifle and go to sleep. Well, I will sleep. I wanted house on my own. Midland. Oh, I know what this is. A masked ball. No, no, we have this at the Bramptons. It's um, insurance fraud. Oh, yes. Oh, it's you, Nev. I didn't recognise you. I was just wearing a hat. All right, we have enemy insurgents. Somebody warn Alison. Tell her to inform the authorities. Where is she? In bed, I think. I'll go. Uh, Kitty, Mary, make a note of anything that they try to steal. We'll need a full inventory. Uh, a list. Oh. She's not here. Alison, he's alone up there. Maybe she's left him. Or gone out. Probably just gone out. Right. Box, another box, bigger box, and some worms. In there. So that's red, yeah. orange, yeah. yellow... Grey, blue, yeah. indigo, oh. very light blue, oh. a rainbow. Energy services. Yes. yes. What service do you require? Uh, the police, 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 police. Do you need fire, police, or ambulance? 
we not think this through. Mm. Right. Pay attention. But just ask for the police. Tell them a burglary is in progress at Button House, then give them the address. Got it? Ah. Emergency services. What service do you require? Yes, please, Jemima. Yeah. Is he dead? I wish. No, I don't. Wait, hang on. <laughs> hey! Hello, can you hear me? Burglary in progress. <laughs> Wait! In case of emergency, break glass. Push that! Push that! Yeah. Oh. Ah, good quality. Ooh. Ooh. Right. Yes, but how do we communicate with him? Moscow! What weapons have they got? No, uh, how many burglars are there? Ah, uh, yes, uh, can do that. And where are they? Oh, this is futile! Are they bigger than me? No. Okay. Um, how many burglars are there? Ah, all right, here we go. Come on. Twenty. What are you doing? It's not twenty. No, I was writing two of them. Just write two. Look, it's an hour, love. Take it or leave it. What the? At least tell me you got an inventory. Cause two, two Godwin's dog, one puke cup, drink, caps, and a rainbow. Okay, well, I'll let you coordinate that. Where are you? Ah, that's the thing. I've had a little bit of a dink. Sorry, sir, we need to end the call now, please. I better go. Oh, my God. It's fine. I think I'm in shock. <laughs> Who's going to go out in this and get a vicar from the top of the... Me. It's me, innit? We're commandeering the ballroom. What? What? The wedding's happening here. Yes! Oh, yes! A thousand times, yes! <laughs> Whoa. Oh, my God. <laughs> that has never happened before. Are there bribes made? Oh, I hope you're going to behave yourself today. Because I have heard about you. Can I be a bride? Please, please, please! Yes, yes. It's completely natural for you to get cold feet today. Yes, no, it's a metaphor, Robin. You're a metaphor. I had a wobble on my wedding day. I kept thinking, is he the one? And all the little habits and the, the things that annoy me, can I really live with them every day? But, but then I tried to imagine living without him. And I couldn't. Because he's the best thing that's ever happened to me. No, I preferred the first bit. The cake was not broke upon my head, so my husband did die. Crushed beneath his plough like a grape beneath the foot. Oh, my God. Your husband died on your wedding day? No, three years after. Right. So you're saying that your husband died in a farming accident because of something that you didn't do on your wedding day three years earlier? Exactly. OK. My marriage was arranged. I was 14, she was 12. No. Didn't love each other. She didn't even like me. Didn't laugh at my jokes. Didn't really understand each other. She was French. So. Might have been nice if we could have chosen who we married. Mary, I can't just throw cake at the bride. But no! Okay. I think I want another fight.